Hi, maayong adlaw sa tanan. Good day to all. Davao City today looks still natural in the far horizon. As we have been trying to impress in our previous video uploads. Actually, we can do better being calm and still and go on the natural ways of life the way we are used to as Filipinos and as Dabawinos in the regionalistic divide. What is disturbing is the cold statistics. Some of them are hidden. And it is continuing to rise in our locality, even nationwide. I don't want to sound alarming, but now our choice is to go back to what is called normal in the pre-pandemic conditions. It's also beginning to go upward. We are given the choice to move or be still. To move as only needed or in a manner that was previously rampant. Or be still as needed and be calm. Now, aside from having to move fast and a step ahead of the cold statistics, as we want to call it in order not to sound so alarming, moving fast like the backhoes, digging over time for a common graveyard not far away from here, Death and more deaths are lurking even as we would want to look calm and natural. Let me just expand further on my latest post in the web that not so many people would want to read. That post says, unfortunately, we are all mere mortals. It had taken the signal from a report of verifiable sources, saying that a closely guarded room at the main COVID receiving center of the Southern Philippines Medical Center is hidden from public knowledge, and there are piles of dead people, mostly patients from outside Davao City. Before I continue, let me just thank um, Pastor Carol Robertson in this one of the best rendition of the song that was written in the 1930s by a servant of the Lord named Thomas Dorsey. And the newest version and one of the best was by Carol Robertson, an American evangelist. To continue with what is in my mind about that verifiable report, I said that it is verifiable if you will just consider current statistics and for the reason simply because there is no more room for them at the morgue and the urgency of digging a common graveyard in the Tugbuk area, in our district. The big question is that, are we prepared for that? The way some people talk and move, it is almost a conclusion for us that everyone looks prepared. For many, it is because death is simply a choice more likely to happen compared to a life full of miseries and hardships. I am actually in sympathy to all those who may no longer hear what I'm saying. For all those who have the barest minimum of survival in this current struggle. Unfortunately, not all of us or all of us are mere mortals and the only one in the historical truth and divinity that we know was most prepared for it was the Lord Jesus Christ himself 
but he even tried a last minute haggling as we read in this passage of Mark the 14th chapter verse 36 in the old English version it says he said Abba Father all things are possible unto thee take away this cup from me I was talking about the cup of wrath from God Take away this cup from me, nevertheless, not what I will, but what your will. His final request, of course, from a son to his father in heaven, was not granted because that was God's only way to give us back our eternal destiny with him. And so Jesus died, and for three days tasted death and rose again from the, the grave. He rose again from the dead, and has truly conquered death and was repaid from all this most miserable death in the history of man. He was repaid with joy unspeakable. And not only that, all our chances are, and our hope are pinned on this one single most important moment in the history of man as a spiritual being and, and, as, and in his flesh and as a natural or spiritual being. So now, therefore, the only way to prepare for the most inevitable in life is to truly believe and make a turnaround against all forms of dying in the flesh and in the spirit by faithfully and truly believing in the Lord Jesus Christ. This may sound so simple, but unfortunately it is not. Because believing can take place in a moment, in a minute, as you hear. But faithfully following takes a lot of works, praying, waiting, and striving hard, passing the test. But still, it is all really a choice. It is. Precious Lord, lead me home. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me home.